Okay, welcome to part three of this uh, logging in and registering script. Um, we're just going to erase the not submitted one for now. And we're also just going to take out that else right there. Now we should, it should look just like this. And in the if submit, uh, we're going to do a few checks. We're going to do if username and and password meaning if they're both filled out um, it'll continue and we'll do else um, we'll do else echo echo please fill out all of the fields and if we save it and type stuff in it shouldn't say anything and if we don't type stuff in and we uh, just do a few things it'll say please fill out all of the fields so now that we have that working right, um, if username and password, and then here we'll do password um, equals password. Oh, sorry. Um, password equals um, MD5, which will just uh, encrypt it in MD5. Really hard to decode, so we'll just MD5 password. Meaning now if we echo pass password oops um, and then we just type in one two three four five it's an md5 so can't really uh, yeah just it's hard to decode back to it uh, we don't have to echo that out uh, we'll now we're gonna start a query we're gonna say uh, login query equals uh, MySQL query user uh, select all from users where username equals username um, username equals username and then if oh and then we'll do MySQL num oh sorry my bad num rows equal MySQL num rows uh, login query and then we'll do if exclamation point num rows so it means if num rows equals zero uh, we'll continue with this oops we'll continue with the script else um, e we'll echo user already or if no. Oh, oh I can totally confuse myself. Uh, this is logging in, so we'll if num rows echo test. We'll just echo echo not a test. Now just let me test this. FDSA. Okay, so we do have a parse error. Um, forgot to close that. So now let's just refresh it. Continue not a test okay so it, where I put test we'll put use um, user does not exist there we go okay so now we'll do while uh, while row equals mysql um, fetch Asosh, sorry, I'm having a brain fart. Uh, MySQL, okay, and then in parentheses or brackets, we'll put um, user. Uh, we only need password. Password, sorry, password one equals uh, row uh, password, and then. We'll get out of that while, and we'll do if password equal equal password one, um, and then we'll do an else, and th this else will mean else they don't match. Echo passwords do not match. Okay, and it will tell us that the passwords don't match, even if we do have someone in there. 
because uh, we have an MD5 up here. So just comment that out with two slashes where it says password equals MD5 password. And then just save that and then we'll echo passwords match um, continuing so we know it works. That's in the if password equals password one. So now we'll come here and we will create, we will go to insert in our PHP my admin PHP tutorials users uh, will insert will leave the ID field blank because that will automatically increment and the username I'm just gonna make uh, Andrew and the password will be one two three four five join date will be today's date which is the 30th let's hit go now if we browse you'll see Andrew one two three four five uh, ID one so now let's try logging in with that Andrew one well first I'm gonna type in the wrong information user does not exist even though I do exist one two three four five let me just test it okay so we're getting user does not exist so just erase that exclamation point right there and then it should work passwords match confirming or continuing okay so it should be if num rows meaning if someone does exist with that okay so n this looks very very sloppy now that I'm looking at it but later we can make it look better or whatever huh. okay so passwords match right here so we'll do um, we're gonna log the user in so we're gonna do uh, dollar sign underscore session username equals ses user now we will refresh this I'm gonna log in Oops. and then I'm gonna refresh it continue I don't know <laughs> Um, let me see. We're just gonna have it redirect. Die, uh, successfully logged in. A href equals index.php. Um, click, click here to return to the home page, which will be index.php, of course which we will create right now so create a new PHP file uh, save it index.php and we're going to require connect.php um, and then we're going to do ses user equals my or dollar sign underscore session oops username and then, oh, okay, I see the problem. Um, I, I don't know, I just, um, where it says session username equals ses user, just change that ses user to username and save that. And then we're gonna, if right here in our back to at our index.php, we're gonna do if ses user. Uh, if ses user, meaning if someone does exist, echo, hello ses user. Um, and then we're going to do else, echo, you are not logged in. A href equals login.php. Oh, this has been 10 minutes, so I do need to stop it right here. I will continue it. Bye.